Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out here at the range today with Heavy Metal, I have brought out the Umarex Hammer 50 caliber super powerful air powered lead Bulat Slinger. Check that out. That's a 320 grain hollow point lead projectile that we're going to fire out of this. 50 caliber air gun from Umarex. That is the Umarex hammer. Ever since I did the first video on this thing, you guys said, hey, you ought to put that thing in some jail. That's probably the number one comment on all the videos, no matter what we're doing. BB slingers all the way up to the 50 BMG. Oh, I wish this video would have been better if you did it in some jail. Well, uh, people don't realize these jail blocks cost over a hundred bucks, but hey, so many of you guys asked for this video, we're going to go ahead and do it. But this is a super, super powerful air gun. This is literally being used for big game hunting. Deer and the such. In the United States, this is legal for whitetail um, in at least half of the states. So if you're ladybugs, if you're interested into getting into the big boar, or big game hunting with air guns, definitely check out this Umarex hammer. Yesterday I had this thing out and we were getting same hole groups at 50 yards with these uh, projectiles we're using for this video. So I brought it out again today, got some gel melted down, and we are going to see if we can catch these. I have no idea what's going to happen. They're hollow points. Are they going fast enough to expand? I don't know. Or are they just going to bore right on through? Uh, kind of like a hard cast would. I don't know. We're fixing to find out. But I've got this block, and then I've got another one I'm going to put behind it just in case it goes all through this gel. The one in the back is going to be a little bit more cloudier. I've melted that one like eight times. This one's only been melted once, and it's still pretty clear. But the Umarex hammer, I've got 4,500 PSI in that carbon fiber tank right there. I'm going to go back. Oh, let's go back to about 20 yards or so, maybe 30. I'll fling them offhand and see if we can get a good hit or two into this gel and see what happens. But pretty, pretty cool. If you're interested in checking this thing out, look down below. I'll try to find some places where you can go do some more reading on it or check out our other videos on it. But today, we're slapping the gel. You guys asked for it, so brought out some gel today. Let's see what happens. I'm going to load it up. Sling them, put all the cameras on it. Should be pretty cool. All right, here we go. I'm back at about, oh, 20 yards or so. Sighted in at 50, so I'm going to hold a tad high. But let's see what happens. I don't think we're going to get a bunch of expansion out of these. I think it's going to be more like a hard cast and just barrel through there. But let's see what happens. 20 yards here. Don't need 16 zoomies for this far, do we? See where I hit it. Oh, we got it. I'm gonna go ahead and put another one in it. Then we'll go take a look. Alright, let's go take a look at the gel. I can see I hit it two times from back here. Alright guys, so walking up to our gel here. So, we did catch them both in that front, but oh man, look! We did get some deformation out of that lead, man. So, I didn't know how hard or how soft that lead was going to be, but at 20 yards, look at that. This is an 18 inch block, so that's probably, oh, that's probably 14 or so inches of penetration. You can see how they went all the way back here and then bounced back. We'll probably see that in the slow-mo, but probably, I guess they went about 16 and then bounced back an inch or two. But man, let's dig those out. It looks like they both uniform 
perfectly uh, deformed there. That is so cool, but that just goes to show you how these things could really pack a wallop on a whitetail or anything else you're hunting. And we can see those cavities up front. Boom! I can't wait to view that slow-mo footage, but let's dig these out here quick. Looks like they both completely stayed together too. I don't see any fragments of lead or anything in the front of that block. Let's dig them out. I should have brought me out a, a bigger knife. Normally on the daily I just carry one of these, you know, budget friendly china jobs because I'm afraid of losing a good knife, which I've done in the past. I've been out in the dark dressing deer and set my nice knives down and lost a few out in the woods that way so I kind of got in the habit of not carrying a nice knife on the daily. So that ought to clear us enough for me to get my fingers down in there I think. If you're ever doing this you got to be careful too this lead can cut you. I've done that before learned the hard way. I only put this on the stand I need two hands for this. Alright now I got two hands I ought to be able to grab something out of here. Let me dig a little dig a little deeper here with our little trench there. This uh, this gel stuff is pretty solid. If you never dealt it before, well, obviously it's pretty solid if it's kitchen boo lots, huh? Man. There's one right there. Ooh, doggy, I'll set that down. Definitely, definitely surprised me as much as it expanded. I guess they've got the hardness of that lead tuned just perfect for loading them up in these babies. Pretty, pretty cool if I say so myself. That looks like a, a, uh, a 4570 or, or something similar like that. A big bore expanding lead round. And there's the other one. Let me line them up here and we'll take a look at them. Man, that's cool. Let me give you an up close look at this hammer here. There's the bolt. That's the mag release. You got a two shot mag. Got the safety there. This is your onboard uh, tank gauge there. Still got some juice in there after two shots. 4500 PSI, Umarex says you get three full power shots and your fourth one is about a 90% power shot. We got one of these uh, Axion 4 to 16s on here. Pretty, pretty sweet, but that's the lead we just flung it with, those 320 grain SLE, solid lead ammo. But those hollow points... Let's put a, an unfired one up next to it. So, right there is what these started out as. But look at the expansion. It's already a 50 cal. And that sucker expanded probably close to an inch now. Well, it's probably three quarters of an inch now. Man, man, man. I cannot wait to edit this footage. Catching it in that gel. How wild is that? But you can imagine smacking a, a whitetail in the heart or in the lungs or in the spine or in the neck, the damage and the shock that that would do on a big game animal. So these are definitely no slouch. This is not your daddy's red rider, I'm here to tell you. But at the same time, very, very manageable and almost no recoil. Pretty, pretty sweet technology coming out of Umarex. But there you have it guys. Pretty, pretty cool. Like I said in the beginning, I didn't know what to expect, but man, they have got this lead dialed in. You can imagine that would do an incredible job of smacking down a whitetail. But hey, stay tuned. We're definitely gonna be doing some more videos with this. Y'all go check out Umarex. If the 50 cows don't float your boat, 
they've got all kind of stuff from this big bore stuff down to the much smaller stuff but yeah whole lot of power in this Umarex hammer we're getting the same whole groups at 50 yards and you can see what those projectiles are doing in the lead but hey check out Umarex hammer appreciate y'all watching make sure you're subscribed we got videos like this coming out every single day y'all appreciate y'all we'll see you on the next one Woo -hoo.